In this video, I'll show you how to purge unused data in your Blender files. So why you might want to purge unused data? Well, I have a Blender file here with two different objects that have textures, but let's say that I don't want to use the bark texture anymore, I just want to delete it. Well, what I can do is just click on the exit button here just to get rid of that bark texture. Well, if I click here on the material dropdown, you can see the bark is still in the Blender file and it has a little zero there telling you that it's not actually being used in the file, so it has zero users. Well, what I can do is just hit Control S to save, and then I'll close the Blender file and open it up again. So I've opened up the same exact Blender file, and if I now click here on the dropdown, you can see the bark texture has been removed. And so that's because Blender does have a way to auto-remove old data, so things like node groups, geometry nodes, materials, textures, and lots of other things in Blender. Blender recognizes that it's not using any of the data in the file, it'll delete that data, and that way your Blender files won't get super cluttered and they won't build up tons and tons of extra data. However, this feature where Blender automatically removes the data doesn't work all the time. So for example, if I click here to go to the UV editing workspace and then click here on the drop down, you can see even though I deleted the bark texture, Blender still has the file data here in the file. So how you can get rid of unused data is you can click on file and then you can click on cleanup and then you can click on purge unused data. So click on that and then you can see it's going to tell you like how many different things here. So there's like three images and then there's nothing else, so I'll click on delete. Now if I click here on the material dropdown, you can see it only has the brick textures, but not the bark textures. Now what I'm going to do is just hit Control Z to undo that. So I can do this more manually by clicking on File, Clean Up, and then I can also click on Manage Unused Data. So if you just want to delete something specific, you can manage unused data. And so this is going to open up the outliner in a new window. You could also get to it by opening up the outliner here, but this is really easy. And you can see the outliner has been changed to unused data. So there's these brushes and those those brushes are just built in a blender so you can just ignore that you can see they actually have fake users added to them and so fake users are basically a feature in blender which tells blender not to remove the data but if i go here to images you can see there's these different bark textures that the blender file isn't using so they're still in the file but they have no users you can see it just has a zero so i can just click here right click and then just click on delete to manually delete any data so both of these features the manage unused data and purge unused data are very useful, especially for me, because I create digital products, so I sell 3D models and asset packs and things, and so if I'm working on a big project and I'm finishing up the product files, and I just want to make sure that there isn't any other extra data or any clutter in the file, that I can just purge the unused data. Now I did mention the fake user feature, so the fake user feature is this little button right here, it's a shield icon, and you can click on this to turn it on for pretty much any data, like materials or textures or node groups or shaders or really any data in Blender, and so if you add the shield icon, then even if you click on the exit here to delete this material, Blender's not going to delete it from the file. So if I were to save this Blender file and close it, Blender wouldn't get rid of the data. If I click on the drop down here, you can see there's a little F next to the bricks, and so that's telling us that it has a fake user. And so Blender's going to make sure it doesn't get rid of that data. And I do have a separate video talking about the fake user in more detail, so if you want to check out that video, I'll have it right up there on the end screen. And then finally, before I wrap up this video, I want to let you know about my light Gobo Asset Pack, which comes with 150 Light Gobo assets, and they're pre-set up for Blender's asset browser with custom thumbnails and sorted catalogs. And Light Gobos are a really great way to add realistic light and shadow patterns to your 3D renders. So if you're interested in purchasing, then I have a product trailer video linked in the description and the product pages linked in the description. But I hope you found this video helpful, and thank you for watching.